Okay, mean and standard deviation of the sum or difference of independent random variables. So um, here's for any two random variables, let's say you had x and y. Um, if we want the total of x and y, then the expected value of the total is just the sum of their means, which I have underlined here. So uh, mu sub x plus mu sub y would be the expected value of the total. All right, so it's pretty, pretty simple for mean. A little more complicated for standard deviation variance. So if the first thing you got to calculate for this is, or determine, not calculate, is um, you have to have independent variables. So it says for any two independent variables, x and y, if t equals x plus y, then the variance of t is, and so we're dealing with variance, not standard deviation. I'm not sure why that little mark is there, but it's there. So anyway, uh, so your standard deviation of your total equals the standard deviation, or sorry, the variance of your total equals the variance of your x plus the variance of your y. And so that's what sigma squared represents. All right, so let's use this. And so the first thing we need to talk about, and if you're to this point in the uh, and watching this video, you probably have ran across independent random variables before. You know kind of what they mean, but let's just review it just to make sure. So if knowing whether any event involving x alone has occurred tells us nothing about the occurrence of any event involving y alone, and vice versa, then x and y are independent random variables. So one cannot predict the other, or vice versa. Uh, that might be an oversimplification of it. But here's a good example. So a certain college uses SAT scores as one of its criterion for admission. And the mean for the math score is shown to be 500 with a standard deviation of 110, while the mean for the reading score um, is 520 with a standard deviation of 120. What is the mean and standard deviation of the total? Well, your mean's straightforward. Uh, the mean of your total, so mu sub t here, equals 500 plus 520, or 1,020. You cannot, however, calculate the variance or standard deviation of the total. Because typically, in a, in a SAT test, or you know, any, any test uh, like this, uh, if you get a high math score, you probably will also get a high reading score. And if you get a high reading score, you'll probably get a high math score or vice versa. You could, if you get a low math score, you'll probably get a low reading score. And so one somewhat predicts the other. So these are not independent events. We can't use them, so we can't calculate their total variance. So we're done with that problem. So what about subtraction? What if we had uh, d equals x minus y, where x and y are independent variables, independent random variables? Well, you go ahead and you can still subtract, so I call mu sub d here, um, is the mu sub x minus mu sub y, or the expected value of x minus the expected value of y, that still holds. But in red, your variance equation change is not subtraction, it is addition. And that's a, a huge one to remember is we will not be subtracting your, if you, even if you subtract your means, you will have to add your variances. And uh, so I, I'd go into why, but for now, just you know, that's just something you need to remember. And uh, we'll talk about why, hopefully, when you come see me. <laughs> or in the next video, who knows. So let's do, uh, let's do a little... Uh, um, uh, example here. So let's say that X is the number of passengers on a randomly selected taxi cab trip for, for driver Bob, and Y equals the number of passengers on a randomly selected taxi cab trip for driver Stacy. And so we have this data on these two drivers, and we've calculated that uh, Bob carries one point, point, 
1.62 passengers per trip with a standard deviation of 0.48, almost half a passenger. And Stacy carries 1.85 uh, passengers per trip with a standard deviation of 0.73. And so we want, uh, so maybe we're the company and we want to know what Bob and Stacy make combined on average per, per trip. And so we, let's say that Bob manages to collect $40 per passenger while Stacy collects $30 per passenger. What is the mean and standard deviation for Bob and Stacy's total? So first off, um, to calculate the mean, so we'll just call it mu sub t. So the mean of the total is uh, forty dollars times one point six two plus thirty dollars times one point eight five. And uh, you go ahead and calculate that. Oh, got some random gibberish there. You go ahead and calculate that, and we expect. Um, the total for Bob and Stacy to be around $120.30. All right, that's good. So now, what about their standard deviation? How much? How much variance is there? And so that's the first thing we need to calculate. Is our formula is based on variance, so we're going to have to calculate our variance. And so sigma, we know sigma sub, sub x. Um, is going to be with our new total with our for Bob, he gets forty dollars times his variance so, or his standard deviation of 0.48, and so that's nineteen dollars and twenty cents. And for Stacy, um, she collects thirty dollars with a variance of 0.73. I should be putting zero point seven three. I apologize. And so you'd get $21.90 for her, stand, for her uh, standard deviation. So their variance, so the variance for Bob is 19.20 squared, so 19.2 squared, which is 368.64. Just pop that out of my head, or, or I have it written down here. And the variance for Stacy is uh, uh, her 21.9 squared, or uh, 479.61. All right, so now let's go ahead and find their totals. And so, um, the variance of our total squared is going to be 368.64 plus 479.61. And uh, when you add those two together, you get uh, 848.25. And that's my variance, or our variance for our total. And so we might want to go ahead and calculate our standard deviation. So our standard deviation of our total is the square root of 848.25, which would be uh, $29.12. So together, um, they're going to make um, $120.30 per passenger right there with a standard deviation of $29.12. So it's going to vary by that. So that hopefully this helps you. Um, best of luck and uh, see you next time when I have more time to talk about why some of this stuff happens.